Hey everyone, I'm back. It's been a long time, but I have a new watch, so I figured I'd do an unboxing uh, of this. And uh, it finally arrived today after Canada Post's best efforts to somehow screw up the delivery as they are wont to do and decided to redirect it to some small town that I do not live in. And uh, But finally it came and I picked this up from Graziella Jewelers in Oshawa, Ontario. Um, they had a pretty decent Black Friday sale on. So um, over the past year, I've actually sold three watches, I think, and hadn't uh, picked up anything for quite a while. So um, first one in a while, so it's kind of exciting. I've actually already opened this because it is, uh, it had some pretty uh, intense packaging. <laughs> you, nobody needs to watch uh, me struggle with that. So, all right, let's open it up and take a look. There is the classic white Seiko box and inside we've got the Seiko Solar Quartz Chronograph SSC 813 came out um, about a year ago I guess they released it uh, it's been pretty popular I've always had my eye on this one and uh, was very happy to see that it was on sale they've been sporadically hard to get but stock seems to be better now um, and uh, yeah so it is a 39 millimeter as I said solar quartz chronograph with the panda dial um, it is a re-release or a modern interpretation of the Seiko speed timer which was uh, kind of a classic Seiko chronograph um, that was released uh, some time ago and then they've also released along with this one a uh, mechanical version that looks more uh, sort of uh, true to the original speed timer this is a, definitely a modern interpretation and so far as it doesn't really uh, resemble the original all that much the uh, first one had just two uh, registers at the th uh, uh, three and nine position this one has uh, the added one at the six o'clock so uh, here it is, looks very nice. One thing I gotta say about traditional ADs that annoys me just cause I'm like that. Look, they obviously saved the stickers, had it all unstickered, and then like kind of pathetically tried to put these stickers back on, which like, you're not fooling anybody. So uh, it's kind of annoying. I like uh, unopened, untouched watches when I buy them. Uh, and I have another one coming actually from uh, Sakura Watches, who uh, is an online retailer, and they are uh, a pretty big Seiko dealer, and uh, I imagine that one will not have this issue. So, yeah, this just bugs me, I gotta say. Uh, I've also got uh, the strap code bracelet for this that I ordered in advance because, you know, Seiko bracelets, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, I definitely saw some uh, posts online about it and then saw this one in some photos and it looks like it much more closely and uh, accurately matches the actual watch. This focusing is not happening here, is it? I'm not sure why. Sorry about that. Apologies. So anyway, I'm going to uh, take the tags off, uh, pause this, put the strap code bracelet on so that you can see what that looks like. I'll size it up, put it on the wrist and uh, take a look. So, oh, and I'm wearing the Tissot Gentleman Powermatic 80 with the dark blue dial. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, we are back, and we finally got it on this strap code bracelet, um, which I really think matches the uh, case of the watch a lot better than the Seiko bracelet. It's not so much that the Seiko bracelet that comes with it is low quality, uh, you know, for Seikos in this, uh, position within their range uh, they're generally decent but the the brushing on the bracelet and uh, sort of the the sheen of the bra bracelet just doesn't really match the case all that well and this strap code bracelet I think matches it a lot better um, it was tough getting the bracelet on I will admit and this I have experienced with strap code strap code bracelets before where you know their tolerances are not exact uh, and uh, one of the spring bars didn't immediately want to go into uh, one of the lugs properly so i had to uh, coax it a little bit uh, but i think it's fine and uh, the end links are very solid there's no play in there whatsoever and i removed two uh two links 
and I'm on the third micro adjust at the moment. I may move it back to two. Um, we'll see how the fit is, but I've got uh, it sized up. Uh, I've set the time. The date window, as many people have mentioned, is pretty unreadable and unusable. And uh, I'm fine with that. I don't really care. Um, but this watch is really, really nice. Um, I know. I knew, as I said, I knew I liked the aesthetic of it when it came out and how it looked. Um, and it feels really substantial. It sits incredibly well on the wrist. Again, this is a 39 millimeter case size. Uh, my wrist is around six and three quarter inches, uh, moving up to seven in the summer or when it's hot with wrist swell. Uh, sapphire crystal, anti-reflective display. Uh, we're getting some better focus now. I was having some troubles earlier at the start of the video, so you can get a better look at it now. I really like that the chapter ring is on the dial and not in the rehot. Uh, sort of adds to the retroness maybe of this watch. Um, and also then you don't have any alignment issue issues either. Uh, so you've got the 24 hour uh, clock in the three o'clock register. Um, you have the seconds hand at the nine o'clock register, and then uh, at the six o'clock, you have uh, the minute counter, but it also acts as a uh, uh, power reserve indicator. And so you can see it's about half charged up. Um, and when you engage the chronograph, because this is a Mecca Quartz, um, actually correct me if I'm wrong, I, I may be wrong, it may not be a Mecca Quartz, but it is a, uh, a really good Seiko quartz movement that even though it is quartz, you get the sweeping uh, uh, count the, the chronograph hand when you engage it. And then you can see at the six o'clock register, it has moved to begin acting as a minute counter. Um, when you stop it and the chronograph goes back to 12, eventually the power reserve indicator at six o'clock will go back to representing the power reserve. If you want to speed that up, you just click this bottom pusher again and it sweeps around and is back to about half full. So this will get charged up really quickly, I'm sure. And uh, then you don't have to think about it. Set it, forget it, and just wear it. So yeah, looks pretty great. I'm very happy with this. And uh, thanks, you, thanks guys for, for watching. As always, special shout out to Jack and Pete. This channel, it really wouldn't be what it is without you guys. Thanks very much. See you later.